as ever, the atmosphere in the conference center gets more excited. Dennis said early on, we've had some close finals in recent years, and it is always the same. playing as freely as if he was in the, uh, the local club practicing. Never touch the sides. Feeling so confident here, he, even though there's three loose reds, he'd probably go into them. Just gently nudges another one out. Twelve. And there you 30. can see the one at the back of the bunch of reds is also available. Delightful at the moment from the Leeds player. after he'd lost the ball. Very wholesome in his praise for this young man. He said he was ready for it and uh, well, certainly the last hour has proved just that. And knowing oh, Stephen now. Hendry as I do, he doesn't hand out praise. They've got to be a bit special to get the praise of the seven times world champion. And this fella is something a bit special. Forty. Big shot now. It's not a good pack to go into. He needs to cannon into the pink. He could stick there, so a lot depending on this next shot. Needs lots of power. Can't do anything about this at the moment. out of the last seven frames 
Fergal has lost. And, uh, three centuries and a 75 plus this. 77. Seventy-eight. He may disturb the two reds near the pink this time. Yeah. Hasn't gone quite as nicely as it might have done. Eighty-five. He's still got a pot on. Just unbelievable. 99. What a performance. Yeah. 107. <clears throat> 110. Well, I wouldn't know. Uh the records for the Masters, Dennis, but I reckon four centuries in six frames. 114. By one player. Certainly hasn't been beaten. 119. 125. Listen to the cheer after this again. Well, I really don't think the crowd can believe what they're seeing because there was so much hard work for these two players before the interval, but since the interval, Dennis, this is wonderful. He's now 9-8 in front, Paul Hunter, and, uh, well, it'd be a brave man that said he's going to get beaten.